The DMEC Kite. The author has applied for a provisional patent on the product described in this film. DMEC surgery is a no-touch procedure. In the ideal procedure, the thin decime endothelial scroll is oriented correctly, centered, and unrolled. Finally, gas is introduced to hold the graft in place. However, being a no-touch procedure, DMEC surgery can frustrate surgeons by lack of control. The graft may be oriented incorrectly. It may not unroll, and sometimes centration may be less than optimal. A kite made of a thin piece of paper is like a DMEC. Children can fly kites high up in the sky. They are able to control its orientation and its position. What if we do the same with DMEC? What if we fly a DMEC kite? Can we bring the ouch under control? With that in mind, a corneal punch with a 3 by 1 millimeter pedicle and 7.5 millimeter center was developed. Authorized by Macquarie University, it was first used in a patient with idiopathic uveitis and two failed DSECs. The pedicle of the graft was inked to assist in orientation. The graft was loaded into a modified Straco-Jones tube and the pedicle was pulled into the anterior chamber and extravasated using a tan DSEC forceps. Notice the presence of the Burvelt tube. The ink mark on the pedicle confirmed orientation and the graft remained centered due to the pedicle. The graft was unrolled and SF6 was injected to hold the graft. The pedicle broke spontaneously. The patient achieved 612 vision and an ECD of 2100, three months post-surgery. The second case is that of a patient with Fuchs dystrophy with reduced vision. The punch was again used to generate a graft with a pedicle that was inked. Note that the tan forcep is able to secure the graft in the Jones tube outside the eye and is not dependent on host corneal clarity. The graft is extravasated and its orientation is secured. The next step is unrolling. The graft does not open easily until the tail is pushed back in. The next step is centration. The final step is holding the graft in place with gas. The patient achieved 6-9 vision and an ECD of 1,900, three months post-surgery. The third case is also that of a patient with Fuchs dystrophy. The DM endothelial complex is peeled and replaced. The DMEC punch is used to create a graft with a pedicle. The graft is again pulled through using the pedicle. The first step is to confirm orientation. The second step is to unroll the graft. The graft is folded like a taco as the pedicle has been pulled out too much. This is corrected by pushing the pedicle into the AC. The third step involves centration, which is achieved by pivoting the pedicle, centering the graft inside the dots. In the final step, the graft is held in place with gas. Note the tail was not sutured in any of the cases, and the incision was able to maintain pressure. The tail was truncated. The patient achieved 6-6 vision at three months. Not all cases go to plan. In this fourth case, despite uncomplicated surgery, the cornea did not clear. The graft appears to be detached everywhere except where the pedicle enters the stroma. Although the graft cannot be visualized through the swollen cornea, one was confident of the graft orientation at primary surgery, and therefore rebubbling was undertaken. A needle is inserted deep into the tail so as to ensure that gas is injected under the graft. Then a second incision is made to relieve pressure before injecting more gas. The post-operative OCT shows that the graft is attached and the patient rapidly recovered vision. In a further development, we've improved the punch design by adding an orientation notch. This reduces the need for graft stamping and possibly reduces the chance of endothelial loss from such maneuvers. Note that the notch has been placed some distance away from the pedicle. In the event the pedicle breaks, the surgeon can still use the notch for graft orientation inside the eye. Also note the notch's asymmetric shape, which helps distinguish it from the surrounding graft curvature. 
This feature is particularly useful when the graft is rolled up inside a Strico Jones tube and the notch then helps with injector orientation. In this fifth case, a patient with Fuchs dystrophy received a graft with a pedicle and an asymmetric notch. The graft is pulled through with forceps while maintaining correct orientation. The graft is then unrolled. The pedicle appears to be pulled out too much, causing it and the adjacent graft to have rolled edges. The pedicle is pushed back in, enabling unrolling and better centration. Although the notch is easily visible during the procedure, in this recording it becomes obvious when gas is injected. This notch again confirms that the graft is orientated correctly. The tail is truncated at the end of the case. At three months, the patient achieved 6-6 vision. In conclusion, the DMEC graft can be thought of as a kite flying in the anterior chamber. Using the novel DMEC punch, a pedicle can be created to improve the surgeon's control. The pedicle can be used to maintain orientation, secure the graft while unrolling, center the graft, and hold the graft in place while gas is injected. The addition of an asymmetric notch provides further confirmation of graft orientation during surgery.